Welcome. I'll be reacting to Dairy Girls Season 2, Episode 1. This is not a market substitute. Please support the original. And yeah! I can't show it to you because it would get blocked, but Enya! Lenny, your kite be going, love. My kite? Or can you not get Protestant lesbians? No, I think you can get them, all right? It's just... You're very talented, people. Thank you. <laughs> Has anyone seen my bow and arrow? Oh, no, really. Okay, I am so glad that they didn't just drop the last episode and that she is completely out now, it sounds like. They seem fairly supportive. I mean, as supportive goes. I've seen way worse. Because of government restrictions, we cannot broadcast the voice of Mr. Adams. To you all acts of violence. I want to see that. It's because his natural voice is actually very seductive. Apparently, he wait, sounds like wait, the West Wait a Belfast minute. Boy. We need to talk about this mustache going on here. Not hers. She's gorgeous, as always. His. What is this? No, this is this is so much no. Are you saying that the British government dubbed the voice of Jerry Adams because it's too sexy? It's like a fine whiskey. <laughs> I have that in good authority, boy. Okay. He was caught getting down and dirty with some hooker in the back of his BMW. Dark horse or what? Good morning, Michelle. <laughs> I am buzzing for this weekend. No, she said you hang on to it. What? She doesn't want her big bull back. But why? There's nothing wrong with that bull. What is wrong with the bull? Now I'm a little curious. These prods have some serious moves up their sleeves, you know. They're not as fucked up about sex as we are. They've put the work on. They know what they're doing. <sighs> they're people, Michelle. They're not the sex toys. I beg to differ. What do you think this is this, Little House in the fucking Prairie? <laughs> do you watch Little House in the Prairie, doll? He totally watches Little House in the Prairie. I must admit, I had a bit of an advantage when it came to the whole present buying thing. Yeah, because having you know, money and all. Because I know what they like. And having money. Of course she's friends with a half price, and of course she is. Zara will seem quite so impressive next to my thoroughbred, will she, Jenny? Relax, Claire. <laughs> oh, dear. Michael. Sister Michael. Bond. James Bond. It's a pleasure. I know. <laughs> yeah. However, if that isn't clear, feel free to say so. But know that you will be judged. <laughs> I beg the hurry. What? But that's not fair. He's the only good looking one. The rest of us are right here. He's so <laughs> Suppose I'll have you then. Aren't you a charmer? Oh, uh, but I thought he left the priesthood. I'm so confused. As some of you may know, I took a bit of a sabbatical last year. Mm -hmm. Do you mean when you shacked up with a slut of hairdresser, but then she dumped you? Miss Mallon, please, raise your hand if you want to ask a question. Okay, I think we should just move on. The hairdresser <laughs> certainly did. Oh, oh. Let's start with similarities. Erin, why don't you get the ball rolling? Okay. God, I'm actually drawing a blank here, to be honest. Not to worry. Someone else, a similarity. Yes, great, off you go. Catholics really buzz off statues and we don't so much. I do enjoy a good statue, it has to be said. So again, what we have there? Catholics have more freckles. Protestants hate Abba. Okay, thank you. Let me just... <laughs> Protestants love flutes. Fish on Friday. Okay, they have, yeah. Fish Fridays are pretty awesome. They say an extra bit at the end of Our Father and also call it the Lord's Prayer Hour. <laughs> Who came up with these? I love it. Protestants keep toasters in cupboards. <laughs> this is good. Apologies to any Protestants out there. Be sexy, okay? Sexy, right. <clears throat> I said be sexy, not be a fucking bullfish, Aaron. What the fuck's that? And I think the reason I was oh. interested in Oh, I know what that bracelet means. Poor Michelle. Picked the wrong lad. I'm sure you really like Catholics too. It's just that we have been conditioned to... I don't. That can't be true. That is. 
They're all thick as shit. I despise them. I really do. The funny thing is, this little party thing has actually happened to me because the novices tended to stay up later than the regular sisters. And so sometimes they'd have to come in and be like, um, <clears throat> it's time to turn the music down. Cause it would be like midnight. <laughs> they were very understanding of us. <laughs> Although occasionally we stayed with the Franciscans and they were awesome. They were just like <laughs> 1 a.m. They'd just be in there partying too, so. Franciscans are great. I like them. We want to swap? Brilliant. Swap? Yeah, Aaron's gonna have Harry night, and I'm gonna have you, all right? Great stuff. It is beautiful countryside. So he'll be the one actually dictating the speed of our drop. I think if it's okay, I'd just like to take a moment and just... <laughs> I said I hated athletes. I'm not much of a sports fan. But we weren't even talking about athletes! Yeah, well, I thought we were. Why would you have thought we were talking about athletes? Because I'm deaf in one ear. You tried to swap us. Because all Protestants are the same. And she carries a knife that makes people bury their own excrement? Fucking Catholics. Oh, here we go. These two are awesome together. They're just in the background, drinking tea, having a biscuit. Why were you threatening people with a knife, look? Okay, one at a time, please. What if you were the bloody hearing aid, they paid a fortune for you to it's hurt me? Girls, you were fighting with girls. Go, Aaron. Ah, oh, that was a good ending. <laughs> I like that this is the direction they chose to go. Rather than getting angsty about it, they focused on a weekend of trying to mend fences and bringing the Protestants and the Catholics together to find common ground. And at the end, they found a tiny bit. And there was a little bit of a connection there, which was wonderful. But they didn't gloss over the fact that overall, <laughs> they hate each other. And it's really difficult to come together with people when you've been trained your entire life to dislike them. Again, we had a great balance of a fantastic story and humor. The tone felt very much like season one as well. Sometimes these shows, when they're popular, completely change how they do things in season two, and it's very jarring. That didn't happen here. This was an excellent opening. So excited for the rest of this season.